Something neat about supply and demand is that they share the same axes. When we have a demand curve, we have a downward relationship between price and the quantity demanded. When we have a supply curve, we have an upward relationship between price and quantity supplied. We're looking at relationships between price and quantity. Therefore, we can project these two curves onto the same graph. And that's extremely helpful because when you have an upward sloping curve and you have a downward sloping curve, if you get a bit enough time, sooner or later, they are going to intersect. In economics, when we have these two curves and they intersect, that intersection tells us something very important. That intersection is our equilibrium. Equilibrium is important, that's when our market is in balance. Balance is good. In nature, there's always a tendency to strive toward balance. In economics, we have the same thing. So the point at which supply and demand intersect is what's going to be called equilibrium. Now equilibrium is important because it tells us two things. It tells us our equilibrium price, denoted there by P star, and it also tells us our equilibrium quantity, which is denoted by Q star. Equilibrium is very important. It tells us that at that price, the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded are equal to one another, or at their equilibrium quantity. That's important because it tells us that everyone who wants this good or service at this price has been able to purchase it, and everybody who wants to sell this good or service at this price is able to sell it. There's no extra stuff sitting on shelves. There are no people waiting in line to wait for the next shipment to get a hold of it because they know they have to get it fast. Everybody who wants it at this price has it. Everybody who wants to sell it at this price has sold it.